how do we enroll ourselves how do we get that voter id card any eligible adult citizens means whosoever completed 18 years of age hmm. they can get themselves enrolled in the electoral road hmm. this can be done through offline by visiting the concerned electoral registration offices office or this can be done through online also hmm. election commission of india has two apps one is water uh, national water service portal hmm. another one is water helpline app hmm. by using this uh, two apps any uh, eligible voter can get himself or herself enrolled through online so you are saying that uh, there is offline mode also and there is online mode also online i know that there is website there are apps as well if once uh, one wants to do it physically offline what is the process to, for that he has to he or she has to visit the electoral registration offices concerned hmm. and he has to go there he has to physically fill the forms hmm. and submit the filled form along with the uh, relevant documents and where do we get these registration forms one online of course through website and apps we get it uh, in the uh, where do we get uh, you know how to fill that form what is that process no uh, if there's any uh, clarification is required hmm. they can visit the site of the chief electoral officer in delhi okay so detailed guidelines are available hmm. to educate the voters how to fill the form okay uh, you know so uh, once that is done once we submit all the documents uh, does the voter id come to our uh, particular respective residence or do we have to go and get the voter id card where do we get that once uh, eligible voter applies for uh, enrollment in the electoral roll immediately he receives an acknowledgement in his registered mobile number hmm. at each and every stage of processing that application hmm. he will get an update in his mobile number okay. once the electoral registration officer hmm. approves uh, the application for enrollment hmm. he will he uh, he or she uh, receives an uh, message in his registered mobile number hmm. by using that immediately he can download the e epic also and after that the physical epic hmm. will be delivered by speed post all right so there is this one question that has been sent to us uh, from our first time voter uh, he has been asking what is the relevant date for determining the age of 18 years can i get myself registered as a voter on the day when i complete 18 years of age yes Presently, there are four cut-off dates hmm. to decide the eligibility. That is, first January, first April, hmm. first uh, April, first July, hmm. and first September. Okay. And now, voter, no need to wait for the cut-off date to come. Hmm. Whosoever eligible or completing 18 years of age, hmm. as on first October 2024, hmm. Hmm. he can apply now itself. Okay. But the only difference is that. The application will be processed after he or she completes 18 years of age. Okay, but he can, uh, he or yeah. she can apply, apply. right now, mm -hmm. uh, irrespective of the becoming 18 years old down the month. But right now, they can start the process. They can start the process. All right. Uh, the other question is that about NRIs. Now there are a number of uh, students who go and study abroad. Uh, do they have the voting right if they are studying abroad right now? Uh, can it be through postal ballot? What is the process for that? Uh, we don't call them as a NRIs. Hmm. We call them as overseas Indian voters. Okay. They are actually Indian citizens, hmm. but temporarily residing out of the country. Hmm. But otherwise eligible to be enrolled as a voter yeah. and eligible to vote. Hmm. So they can apply through a separate form 6A. Hmm. So they can apply through uh, that form 6A either through offline mode hmm. or in the online mode for registration as a overseas Indian elector. Okay. Once the enrollment is done, then they have to physically come on the voting day. Hmm. To the, uh, they have to go to the concerned polling station hmm. and they have to show their passport, okay. original passport okay. for exercising their voting rights. Okay. Uh, so physically the person has to come and vote. Otherwise, is there a postal ballot or some sort of, uh, if, for example, a student is studying abroad and uh, he or she wants to vote but uh, he cannot come down to the respective state, uh, is there any option available for them? Presently, uh, for over, uh, overseas uh, Indian voters, they have to physically come to the polling station on the day of polling. Mm, okay. Then only they can access their voting rights. All right. And when can one get registered in the electoral uh, 
role and is enrollment throughout the year or is there specific uh, months that you can get yourself enrolled or is it on throughout the year so electoral registration process is a continuous process hmm. it is uh, throughout the year okay but generally uh, during the months of uh, october and november hmm. special summary revision is being carried out okay. there extensive revision otherwise enrollment is a continuous process okay but could you highlight a little more about this uh, revision that you talked about uh, october and november what what exactly is done during those months by election commission in general we call it as a continuous updation hmm. because once an electoral roll is prepared hmm. this has to be updated by including new voters or by deleting the voters who are either shifted from that residence hmm. or they have expired okay. so it's a continuous process hmm. and it uh, it is carried out throughout the year okay but generally election commission of india fixes certain durations hmm. where a special efforts are made to reach out to the voters okay. to get themselves enrolled okay for this year uh, the special summary revision we have conducted during the month of november and december in hmm. 2023 and we enrolled maximum number of new voters so how is that done do you do do like a door to door campaign do you reach out to the voters how do how how is that process done no, during special summary revision we uh, employ multiple methods hmm. we will request our blos to reach out to the uh, households to verify is there any uh, eligible voter is left out hmm. then we also use different medias advertisements multimedia social media hmm. to reach out to the voters so that we will ensure that all the eligible voters are enrolled in the voter list